and that is the difference between modus ponens and modus tollens. So um, let's talk about questions regarding logic. Questions about logic, because it's a lot argument forms. If you're not like super mathy person, it might be super intimidating, <laughs> but there are grammar tricks. <laughs> um, but we're the hardest part for logic if it feels mathy to you is when we're translating from like, if I gave you a paragraph and I was like, turn this into a deductively valid form. Like that's, that's the tricky part, but we're gonna be doing it the other way. We're gonna be creating arguments ourselves. So let me share one more link with you all. Um, this is my sort of like secret weapon. So you're not gonna be able to find it in a very obvious place in the future <laughs> because I want you all to try on your own. I'm giving it to you now. <laughs> and this is a tool that will basically make sure that your argument is valid. So I want you to play around with this. It's got all of the different deductively valid argument forms on it. But it's just a really useful tool to help us understand these types of logical relationships.